This whole series was created during the pandemic. Um, I think maybe for obvious reasons. <laughs> Stacy Mulraney has always believed in the healing power of art. It helps me process the things that I'm seeing and, and managing in the world. When her mother was undergoing chemo, that was a scary time. Stacy and her friends painted mom 154 doses of Get Well Soon. A piece of art every single day. It worked. So it was a little thing that I could do. Now that the entire planet is diseased, distressed, and depressed, this Seattle artist is working her healing magic again. I think it's awesome. Stacy's little free art gallery is bringing beauty to the streets of Queen Anne. Started with pieces of my own art. I love it, it's such a unique little part of the neighborhood. Huge gift to this neighborhood, to our city. Like a piece? Take a piece. This is the best. Or leave your own masterpiece. I've got a little dove bar here that I painted a while ago. And then my friend Jeanette over there made this. Sometimes it's mundane. Sometimes it's poignant. Sometimes it's tragic. Oftentimes it's funny. This is my son's painting. He's two years old. I like that some of them are from kids, too. Me too, yeah. We don't have a title for this, it's untitled. It's a creative outlet and it's a place where anyone can come and show off. The gallery is constantly changing, making it a must-see stop on neighborhood walks. And I've seen people walk by, hands down, and looking at their iPhone, and do a double take. And suddenly they're looking at art. If only a little free art gallery could pop up on every street. I would physically love to make a hundred of these, a thousand of these, and put them all across the United States. Maybe art really can heal the world. During this year, when we're ripped apart from each other, it gives people hope. Come on, Luke. Come on, let's go inside.